What is up guys? It is your boy Steady Chaos. Thank you for stopping by Steady Chaos Production. Today's a big day. I just downloaded Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart on the PlayStation 5. It literally just finished installing. Let's turn the audio down a little bit. And so I am going to open up this game and try it out on my brand new LG C1 48 inch for the first time with you guys. Let's do this together. Really excited to try out this game. It's getting great reviews. What did I do? <laughs> getting great reviews on Metacritic. 9.2 from users, 8.9 from critics. This is a type of game that will look great on OLED. It's going to be nice and contrasty and colorful. Almost like a Pixar cartoon, really. It's what I've heard. Let's do this. New save slot. Difficulty. We'll just do Rebel Agent, which is default difficulty. Or balanced. Uh, controller settings, audio settings, all that stuff. Graphics mode. This is a 30 frame per second mode with graphical features like ray tracing, enhanced lighting, additional VFX, and increased scene density. It presents a 4K resolution picture. This is the default. Performance ray tracing. This is a 60 frames per second mode, which includes ray tracing. It presents a lower resolution picture with adjusted lighting, VFX, and scene density. And then you have performance. This is an alternate version of the 60 frames per second performance RT mode, additionally removing ray tracing in favor of increased picture resolution. I see, so higher resolution, closer to 4K, but without any ray tracing. This is limited ray tracing and other effects, but you're maintaining 60 FPS. And then this is 30 FPS with all the bells and whistles. Let's do that. Nope. Start game. We're not going to do anything else. Controller settings, all that stuff. Look at this game. It looks, really does look like a Pixar animated movie. Oh man, and the effects in the DualSense controller are incredible. Report to your nearest intake facility immediately. We promise nothing nefarious will befall you. This looks incredible. This game looks incredible. For us? I mean, we haven't done anything the fur on Ratchet's face. Years. It looks so realistic. 
The colors and the contrast is just incredible. Luckily, we will not need to perform any heroics. <laughs> Unless you count smiling and waving. The light bouncing off a clank. Right. <laughs> So I've taken control of the character. Are you kidding me? This game is so crystal clear sharp on the PlayStation 5. It looks incredible. Let's take a look at my picture settings really quick. I have not had time to tinker with any of the picture settings for this particular game. Like I told you, I just downloaded it. So let's adjust the settings on the fly. So obviously we're in game optimizer mode, original aspect ratio. Let's go down to advanced settings. Brightness, we are in HDR, so we want both of the OLED pixel light and contrast at 100, as I usually say to you. If you're gonna get the best dynamic range, you're gonna have to have both of these at 100. Screen brightness, 50. Now, HDR tone mapping. I don't believe this game is specifically developed for HGIG, um, but that doesn't matter. It can still make a difference. Let's take a look at what looks better. I get the impression that dynamic tone mapping may look better on a fruity, colorful game like this. Let's go with off, H gig, and dynamic tone mapping. Wow, does it brighten up the screen? So H gig, dynamic tone mapping. I really do think dynamic tone mapping might be a little bit better for this game, just because dynamic tone mapping tends to brighten up and uh, make the screen more vibrant in general. And this is such a bright and vibrant game to begin with. It's like they go hand in glove. So let's just leave that on for now. Peak brightness is high, black level auto, motion eye care off. Color. Now this one is at 45 still because I just made a video about TLU 1 and my preferred color setting for that game is 45. Default is 50. With a game like this, I'm going to go a little bit higher to say 55 to really make the colors pop, to really make things look saturated. I get it, this is not particularly accurate, but I'm not really going for accuracy right now. This is a cartoony game, I'm not going for realism, I just want to make a filter that takes advantage of this game's Pixar-like look and it does look incredible. 55, so tint zero, color gamut, auto detect, fine tune, don't touch that. White balance, warm 40, we'll keep that the same. All these are for calibration, I'm not going to touch those. And clarity, it's sharpness zero right now, which is the most accurate setting, but I think with a game again like this, I'm going to give it just a bump up to like eight or so, just to give it a little bit more edge enhancement. All right, and super resolution off, everything else is off or grayed out. And then if we go down to general, game optimizer. So it's on, obviously VR IG Sync is off because the PS5 does not have VRR, I say that every time. <laughs> uh, first person shooter, brightens it up a little bit. I'm not sure we need the brightness, especially with dynamic tone mapping. Role playing, that looks pretty nice. And real time strategy, brightens things up again. If we go back to standard, I'm gonna keep it right here and I'm gonna increase the white stabilizer to the default setting of 10 and leave that as is. OLED Motion Pro off, reduce blue light off, prevent input delay, we'll put that on boost. This game does have a 30 FPS and 60 FPS option and so we'll put it on boost to try to keep that input lag as low as possible. I'm not sure how the LG C1 works with 30 FPS inputs. I know with 60, it treats the incoming 60 hertz signal from a PS5 like a 120 hertz signal, which lowers input lag. I'm not sure how it treats a 30 hertz incoming signal. I'll have to look that up. AI game sound, that's fine. I can stay on VR, IG sync, and AMD FreeSync Premium. Fine tuned dark areas are all off because of there is no VRR in the PS5. So yeah, guys, that is a quick look at Ratchet & Clank running on the brand new LG C1 in HDR in fidelity mode. Everything here you see is in native 4K from the PS5, and the colors are incredible. The contrast looks great. This is gonna be a treat to play. I am gonna have a full playthrough of this game coming very soon to my channel. I just have to finish Resident Evil 8 The Village first, and then I will start uploading gameplay footage from Ratchet and Clank.
so that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this quick glance at the brand new Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart on the PlayStation 5 in exclusive. If you have, leave a like, leave a comment down below, letting me know what you think, and hopefully, you can subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys later. Peace.